YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. So this is a very important topic and it's about hardware keys. But before we can dive into it, we must first discuss 2FA, which stands for two factor authentication. So you're signing into one of your accounts on a new device. You type in your username and your password. But before they let you proceed, they ask you to verify yourself a second way, whether it's through a text message they send you, an email, or even through an authenticator app. We've all experienced this, and it's called 2FA. Now, a hardware key is part of the two-factor authentication family, and it's considered the best and most secure way to authenticate yourself because you will actually need this physical key to do so rather than something virtual. If it's virtual, that means the chances are higher that it can be compromised. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, I'm not no politician. I'm not no high level exec at no Fortune 500 company. Hell, I don't even have 100,000 followers on Instagram. Well, player, let me tell you something. They want your account just as well. In parts of this world, there's people that set up whole call centers with multiple employees and their primary focus every day is scamming people. And at times, they are gonna need your help via your account to do so. All right, so let me give you a quick example. So let's say you're in the market for one of those secondhand iPhones, you know, or something to that effect. Let's say it's a 13 Pro Max. So you start looking through listings on Facebook Marketplace and you find one at a great price point. So you reach out to the person to try to purchase it. All of a sudden, that person start giving you all excuses on why they can't meet you in person. They rather ship it to you. So when you start talking to them about shipping it to you, now they don't want to do it through Facebook Marketplace. They want to do it outside of Facebook Marketplace via an app, whether it's Cash App, Apple Pay, whatever. Now, those people are scammers because they don't want to do it through Facebook Marketplace because Facebook Marketplace has all type of protocol and security measures to ensure that their customers don't get scammed. So why do they need your account to do something like this? Well, if they create an account, it won't have an extensive history, whereas to yours, nine times out of the 10 does. You got family pictures on there. You got status updates. You have all type of things on your Facebook marketplace that makes it seem more legit. That, that helps them scam more victims out there. So once they get your account, it's going to be just an annoying experience trying to add all your friends back, get those memories, all type of things. So that's just one of the reasons why they want your account. Let me give you a quick second example. If you have a Microsoft.com account, if you log in and look at your login history, you'll see hella people trying to log into your account from all parts of the world, particularly China. People want your accounts for all type of reasons. And this is why the hardware key is so important. So let's get into the prices of how much these hardware keys go for. So one of the most notable hardware keys come from a company that has a household name, Google. Google currently offers two options on their websites for $30 and $35, respectfully. Now, if you see any of my videos, you know one thing about me. I'm not trying to pay full price for anything ever. I was able to find one of the options that Google has to offer on eBay. This model number is the K9T, and it can be boxed and shipped to you for under $10. I wanted to start off speaking on this particular one because it's the one, first one that I purchased and it's the most affordable option. So I was able to go ahead and get this testing as soon as I got it and I was able to tie it to all different type of accounts from my Gmail, Facebook, Discord, my Synology, NAS. And if you bank with Bank of America, you're also able to add it to that one as well. Now, you also could use it for your cloud ID if you have Apple, but with Apple, you need two keys rather than just one. So that brings us to the second one that I purchased. And it's from another company that's probably the most respected in the hardware key space. And that company is named YubiKey. So the YubiKey options are more expensive than the ones Google has to offer, but for very good reason. I purchased the 5C NFC for about $35 off for someone on OfferUp.com, but it retails for about $55 on Amazon. Now setting this one up, I quickly realized why it's so much more superior than the Google one. So I immediately replaced my K9T with the five NFC. I bought this for about $20 from someone locally on OfferUp.com. This guy had it sitting in his car for about two years. That's why the packaging was a little dirty, but still it was brand new, never open. 
Now this run retails for about $35 on amazon.com. So one of the major differences between Google and YubiKey is that with Google, you're gonna need the username, password, and the hardware key. But with YubiKey, you're gonna need the username, password, hardware key, and the pin number. You see with YubiKey, they do not allow you to tie the hardware key to any account without setting up a pin number first. This right here gives you an extra layer of security that Google just doesn't offer. Now I'm not shitting on Google at all. If you if that's all you can afford, go with that one. But if you can, go all out and get you some YubiKeys. So let me take you through the process of setting up your hardware key. Let's just do something like Gmail. And this is just a throwaway account I have right here. So over on the right side, you wanna click on manage your Google account and it'll take you over here to this screen. So on the left side, you click on security and then you wanna scroll down to where it says pass keys and security keys. You wanna click on that. Then you wanna click on create a pass key. Then you wanna click on use another device. All right, and then right here it says security key, use an external security key. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug my hardware key in now. All right, and you see it blinking green. That's how we know it's activated. So now I'm gonna click continue and it says to set up a security key for google.com, insert and activate your security key. So now I'm gonna click on the security key. You see it's blinking uh, multiple times. It's ready to be activated. So now that it's added, it says turn on two-step verification to use the security key. So let me go ahead and press continue. And then we're going to turn on two-step verification. I'm going to skip the phone number part. Continue anyway. And boom, you're now protected with two-step verification. So now what I'm going to do is try to sign into this account on another computer that I have that's not tied to this device. So I'm gonna try to sign into it and let's see what happens. All right guys, so now that I'm using a different computer, so we're gonna try to go ahead and sign into that same account. Let me type it in. All right. So I'm gonna type in the password. And boom, you see it's saying insert a security key into the USB port to continue. It's not allowing me to get in there without that security key. So let me go ahead and plug that in real quick. Be right back. All right, so I had to go out there and plug it in there. And once I tapped on the same uh, part that we tapped on before on the key, it went ahead and verified it. So now I could sign in, no problem. Don't ask for this device again, and boom, there we go. So this is just one of the different ways you can do it. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is the video on the hardware keys. Uh, this is something I feel like every tech channel should have on their channel because this is something that will help everyone out there. Whether you believe it or not, you are under attack. And I think I did a good job with explaining how you are under attack. So this is something that has a great price range because you could get the older ones for cheaper or you could go all out with the newer ones and pay more. So definitely go ahead and consider making that investment. So I have a few more videos coming out, whether it's Proxmox, Hackintosh, and whatever else videos I think of, they'll be coming real soon. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back to you in a short period of time. Once again, my name is DeMarco Payne for Geeksh, and last but not least, may the good news be yours.